user versus profile. So profile differences between the user and profile, like a profile and user. So profile is nothing but a, it's a collection of uh, or a group of settings. Collection or a group of settings which can hold the permission. That means what user can do when we have a collection of actors, group of actors, if I assign that group of actors to the user, what user can do is decided by the profile. User is nothing but I just anyone who wants to log into the Salesforce, which are nothing but a user. Now profiles controls the object permissions, field permission, user permission, tab settings, app settings, Apex classes, visual ports, and login page, login ID, login hours, these all everything can be controlled by the profile. Now this login hours are basically if you scroll down, there are the login hours will be there. Our session settings are there. So session settings are basically it's a if you want to log out or a once it is inactive, when you want to your system to be inactive, like you are away for almost four hours. After four hours, what should happen? Or after one hour, what should happen? Or after 30 minutes, what should happen? Do you want your system to inactivate? That means it will show this part, but there is a pop-up coming up saying that your session is timed off. Session is timed off. So you can select here how long do you want to keep your system is active. That is a session settings. And next we have a password policies. Password policies is like a, if you remember, whenever you try to log in any social media or some site, after a certain time period, they will ask you to reset the password. Right? Either it is a 30 days or a 60 days or 90 days. Either it is a 60 or 90 or a 30, 180 or one year. Like that, a certain period of time, they will ask you to reset the password. Same thing in the sales force. When you have given this profile to the user, now this profile is assigned to this user, Eric Master. Now Eric Master have to modify the password every 90 days. If that is a scenario, then you can select here 90 days and enforce the password history. Do you want to remember the previous three passwords or previous four passwords or previous passwords? Do you want to remember the system to remember it? If you do not want any password to remember, you can say that no password to remember. If you want last three passwords to be remembered, like if you try to enter the new password here and which is similar to the last to last password, then immediately it will say that this password is already used. So that kind of a access, you can do it everything here in the password policies. And how much length of the password do you want to keep it? Eight. And password complexity requirement must include the alpha and numeric. If you want just a numeric or a just a alpha or a special characters, then you can add this, right? So whenever we are setting up the password, it will say that you need to have a one alpha, one numeric, one character. Like that, it will give you the information. Now, password cannot contain, like a, it's required, the questions required. Do you want a questions requirement for the password? No, we do not want anything. And maximum invalid login attempt. Now, if in case the password is incorrect, password is incorrect. Now, how many times do you want user to try to connect the system? Now, maximum I kept it 10, default is 10. If you want to keep it as maximum 3, so you can keep it 3, 3 or 5 or 10. So, after 3 times, it is going to lock your system. So, better keep it in 10 and lock effective period 15 minutes. If it is a locked, after 10 minutes, then the try it after 15 minutes. So when it is locked, you will get a, an email saying that your system is locked. Try after 15 minutes, right? If you say here, try after 10 minutes, you can like maximum minimum we have a 15 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. So these are the few, uh, few things which is for the password policies for the user. Similarly, we have a login IP address, login hours. So let's say login hours is nothing but login IP ranges or a login hours. Login hours are now sometimes the MNC companies, they wanted you to work between the certain time. 
morning 10 am to evening 6 pm after 6 pm if you try to open this org it will not work because they have restricted the time here morning 10 am to evening 6 pm so they have restricted the time now within this time only you will be able to access the org otherwise it will be locked now this is usually happens in the mnc companies for the login hours they will set up the login hours similarly we have a login ip ranges login ip ranges is whenever they are in the company so there is some ip is associated within the company right so in the company what are the ip address is there so you can able to open only between the some ip address to the another ip address so when you are in the range of those IP address, then only you will be able to open up the sales force. Otherwise, you will not be able to open up the sales force. This right? so IP address, who will provide us? Client will provide it or the client only has to provide it. Or else, if you want your technical architect to be decided, you can decide it. Technical architect will produce. Okay. So they will specify it. We need to log in within the certain IP range. So login IP and login hours also can be tracked. Now in the user, every user in Salesforce has a user account and the user account identifies the which user and what is the user settings, determines what features can be accessed, what are the records can be accessed, everything can be controlled by the profile that is given to the user. Similarly, let's see the differences between the user profile and license. User is nothing but a user, anyone who logs into the Salesforce is called as a user. License is, license is uh, specifically it is talking about the features. Features or a functionality a user can access in the Salesforce. Like every user will have associated to the at least one license. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship, one license equal to one user, one user equal to one license. Whereas profile is nothing but a profile is a group of collection or a group of settings or a collection of settings and permission set that determines what user can do in Salesforce that can be decided by the profile. These are the differences between the user license and profile. Now this is the referral link which I have provided for the detailed session.